Hello, my name is Dr. Yancha. Dr. Myron Yanchin, I'm an otolaryngologist here at Onslow ENT. I went to, I graduated medical school at Temple University School of Medicine in Philadelphia, city of brotherly love. I'm a fellow of the American College of Surgeons, and I'm also a fellow of the uh, American College of Chest Physicians. And I completed my residency at uh, Naval Medical Center Portsmouth. I was in the uh, Navy and I retired from the military as a captain in 06, and I retired out of Great Lakes. You know, I always wanted to be a doctor. I didn't know what type, but I got to med school and I really wanted to do surgery. And uh, with surgery, I thought maybe I want to do cardiothoracic or plastics. And then I got introduced to ENT and I just loved it. It was great. I really like head and neck anatomy. And with that, I could also do uh, perform plastic surgery uh, in the head and neck, which we do. One thing good about ENT is that there's a good mix between medicine and surgery. So not Every patient we see will take the surgery. There's a, 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 about 50% is just medical uh, ENT that we, uh, that we treat. Also, we treat all types of patients. We treat from the very little kids, very little pediatrics and infants, all the way up to the geriatrics. So a wide range of uh, uh, patients that we see. Uh, we do uh, surgeries involving, uh, we do tonsils, tubes, any kind of neck surgery, neck masses, head masses. We do uh, ear surgery, sinus surgery. We treat allergies, uh, do thyroid surgery. Uh, let's see, salivary glands, so like some endivial gland carotids. We do facial plastics, so we do rhinoplasties. We can do otoplasties, especially the children with ears kind of stick out a little bit and we put them back uh, and make them nice, aesthetically pleasing. And again, a lot of medical, you know, we remove cerumen and foreign bodies. I like to, uh, first of all, I treat everyone individually. So I treat them all uh, as individuals. I treat them as if I was treating my own family. You know, I approach it that way, especially with the little kids. Uh, you know, I'll kind of interact with them, try to take their mind off the visit, because I know they're a lot of times scared to be in the doctor's office. And so uh, we'll, we'll kind of make small talk like that. Uh, and, you know, and if, if we do meet, uh, you know, if we do have certain things in common, say like there weren't a, See, they're wearing like an Ohio State uh, hat, and I'm a Penn State fan, you know, so kind of jar them about that. Uh, so we'll kind of, uh, you know, just so kind of put their mind at ease. Uh, there's a bunch of things I like to do. Uh, one thing is I'm, uh, which a lot of people don't know, and it's not really that popular in this country, is speed skating. So I do long track speed skating. But I had some injuries, so then I transitioned to fish skating. So actually I'm a... Uh, I'm an ISU, which is International Skating Union, an ISU uh, level five, which is the top level uh, official, and I'm a starter, so I start the races. Speed skating is the national sport in the Netherlands, so I've been out there where they get, oh, about 15,000 fans watching a race, which is huge for speed skating. When I play guitar, uh, but that's some of the hobbies that I do. When you're looking for great ENT care, we'll be here.